All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, uh, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be pretty interesting. So, uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at these towers right here. If you can recognize them, they're from Plants vs Zombies. So Zukoix managed to make some towers from the PVZ franchise into VZD6, and there's even a map, <laughs> the roof level of the first place for zombies game as a map so seems pretty fitting to play on that so we got uh how many is this one we got 10 different uh towers or plants to use so we got the pea shooter sunflower repeater three peter gatling p colonel Polt, cob cannon cactus chomper and torchwood so we are just gonna take a look at this uh, i'm on just normal hard mode so no boss event here, so uh, I guess we're just gonna get started. Uh, throw down a pea shooter, uh, I guess right here, and we'll just kind of see what he does. So I'll show you the description first. Shoots low pierce but high damage peas out balloons. Oh, oh, is this like a pea gatling or not a pea gatling, a dartling gunner? Look at this. Oh. Oh, okay, I think I understand this. So you kind of have to manually target him. Hmm, that's interesting. So what if I just... Yeah, you could lock him in place. So the pierce is really low, but <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw down another pea shooter. Uh, throw it down up here since it's, uh, they're not the greatest <laughs> tower in the world, but that's fine. Just kind of start us off. So next, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the sunflower. Uh, cost uh, 1080, which we'll be able to afford after this round. So just gonna wait on that. Alright, there we go. So let's see what the Sunflower does. Generates $100 at the end of every round. Okay, cool. So kind of like producing sun, kind of, but not really. So we just throw it down right there and he'll produce us money, which is pretty cool. So we kind of get a bunch of them down. They act as like banana farms almost, which is cool. So since the defense is leaking quite a bit, I'm going to go ahead and get the repeater. Uh, shoots peas at the balloons at double the speed of the normal pea shooter and deals double damage. Cool. So, let's throw him back right here. And yeah, you can see him just going. Awesome. So, just target these guys at the front and I'll just manually aim the repeater like that. Oh, there we go. This guy's good. Perfect. Wait, is this 100 lives or 100 dollars? Because uh, it like showed up as a hundred lives. I'm get it's definitely not a hundred lives. I'm still at sixty four. Yeah, it's definitely a hundred dollars. Okay, cool. Just making sure. The repeater is pretty solid, though. I will admit. Uh, might need to get another one of these, but no, those guys are solid. So I'll get another one. Sure, we'll put them right here. Just gotta have that line of defense. Oh, camos. Do we have any towers that see camos? Uh, maybe. Now uh, we'll take a look at the other ones soon. Okay, so for the lead balloons, does anything here pop lead? I'm guessing the chomper will pop lead. Uh, maybe the kernel pult will. Um, uh, not too sure. But uh, the torchwood I feel would definitely would. Uh, torchwood allows t towers in range to temporarily pop camp pop lead balloons. Perfect. So, I guess saw some in front. Sure. And then these guys will be able to pop lead. Okay, right on. Cool. So, I'm. This is kind of looking like the regular game where you just kind of got your got your pile of sunflowers at the back of the track that just kind of make you that money. So, awesome. I guess let's take a look at the Colonel Pulse. 
Uh, Colonel Pult flings high damage coin at the balloons, which slows them down. And then, uh, I guess, uh, is, hmm. I'll put this guy right here at the back, and let's see what he does. Oh! Okay, so it's high damage corn at the balloons. Which... Uh, slow them down, so it puts that, like, glue effect on it. So I'm guessing it's better for, like, single target, if I had to guess. Rather than, uh, like, groups. But, I feel like we need more. Uh, let's get... Let's look at a cactus. Yeah, let's look at the cactus. Shoots a piercing bullet out the balloons that could pop camo. Okay, perfect. So, where do we put this guy? Uh, hmm. I guess we could just put him... I don't know. Right, right here? Okay, and yeah, this guy you have to obviously aim. I feel like right there would be a pretty good... Pretty good place for him. But yeah, but these sunflowers are really starting to uh, make the money, which is great. Oh, this guy's gonna struggle against uh, against uh, these yellows. He doesn't fire the quickest. Okay, so we'll definitely need more cacti if. Yeah, since camo protection or camo detection isn't the greatest. Hmm, so it looks like stuff is getting through, which is not good. So I'm gonna take a look at the three Peter next, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at the three Peter, but this is looking rough. Am I dead? I'm dead. Wow, okay. Uh, I guess. I guess we can just get another repeater. Oh, like right here. Yeah, maybe another repeater will do the trick. Yeah, there we go. And then we could sell this guy. Oh, we're a bit off the. Let's sell a pea shooter. There we go. Three Peter. Shoots high. Shoots three high damage peas. Uh, where would the. I feel like that's gonna be good right here. Yeah, there we go. Shoots, you see the three, the three P's being shot out there, but it is still looking terrible. Wait, okay. So, we definitely need more camo detection. Should we just cheese it and use a village? Uh, I feel like we should just use a village here. Yeah, whatever. There we go. Just kind of, I don't think the cacti on its own. But, like, these pinks are a problem. Yeah, those pinks are a problem. Okay. I might need to get something else. So, I'll sell a few of these. And I'll get a chomper. Deals a slow firing but high damage melee attack. So this guy actually does have a range, which makes sense. What if I throw him, like, right in here? Is that only one? Is he only targeting, like, one target? Uh. Hey, guys. Just a quick reminder to go subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to 1K subs. And hey, maybe by the time you're watching this, we're going to hit 1K, which would be absolutely unreal. So... Just go down and double check if you're subscribed or not. I'd really appreciate that. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, there we go. I got past that room. This is uh, this is hard. Uh, not too sure how to handle these, but uh, we'll definitely need a camo village. That's definitely what I'm thinking, since I don't think the cactus enough is enough to deal with camos. So, uh, radar scanner is up pretty soon. We might need another torchwood, too. Because, uh, like, the lead is not really, uh, reliable. Um, I'm gonna get another torchwood, I think. Here, and then... 
Camo Village should be up soon. So I've been stuck on this round uh, for uh, quite a while. So I th I think the play is just a bunch of cacti. Uh, cactus is pretty solid because it's pure. It has good pierce, and I'm thinking just pierce is the problem. It's not really uh, damage, so that's kind of why. And I got a second torchwood just because. Uh, good to have. For just because it's buff is like slow almost like it's it's slow to get buffs just a cactus shoots so incredibly slowly but I am struggling all right there we go I think we're finally past that uh, that wave that was rough to say the least but the cactus is solid uh, the extra pierce is really helpful. Uh, just because the uh, single target damage is really good. But uh, the pierce is garbage. And we keep losing to because we have no health. Oh, okay, that was really close. I had to kind of snipe that one. But um, I think the play is just kind of too... Uh, get a bunch of cacti and like shoot it down that straight uh, like alleyway like right here Just kind of aim them down here since their pierce is really good. So uh, Just kind of get the, some like this uh, Like that the kernel pull is also pretty good uh, the slow is nice so Yeah But yeah, no, I end them in a horrible spot. Okay, hold up. Alright, I think that. God! Mmm, this is. annoying to say the least. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. That took me. That took me a lot of tries to actually attempt but to get that, but. Anyways, the Colonel Pult is actually really solid. I didn't realize that it acts like a sniper so you could target it. So Moab should be no problem. Yeah, exactly what I thought. And then we got to get some higher tier stuff since uh, these rounds are getting pretty hard. So for camos, uh, it's actually really tough. So I'm going to camo village uh, the Colonel Pults. Uh, this might be cheating to do this, but uh, I don't really care. <laughs> so we do that, and I'm going to give them a torchwood since they can't actually pop cam, uh, pop leads. So yeah, I think we're dead to this round, though. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait on doing that, but let's get a three, Peter. I think I'm gonna get a three, Peter. Uh. Maybe like right here. Nope, that did absolutely nothing. Okay, so huh? I think let's get a chomper. Let's get a chomper right, right here. Let's see if a chomper will do anything. I'll target him on strong. Chomper did absolutely nothing. Okay, cool. Popping balloons. All right, there you go. Just more Colonel Pulse was the right answer. <laughs> so uh, that's, and then we need Camo Village for these guys, uh, like that. And then um, I'm gonna wait for the tor. Ah, no, I'm not. I'll just give him a Torchwood buff right now. There we go. So I'm just gonna get a Chomper. Uh, I'll, I want to put him like right here and see what he does. Uh, Chomper is kind of garbage. <laughs> Wait. Uh, what what was he doing? Uh, I couldn't really see it. Uh, I guess put him right over here. Uh, what what does he do? 
So it definitely is a melee attack. Just isn't very good. <laughs> also, the three Peter isn't very good either. Uh, this thing is not good. Oh my god, we're on one HP. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Well, um... This is where the life farm would come in pretty handy, huh? <laughs> uh, I just really want to get a life farm. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Uh, we're dying way too often, so... There we go. Just one. Just one. Isn't it crazy that with all of this, we're still, like, getting annihilated by balloons? Uh, I don't know what to get. Finally got past that round and, uh, you didn't see anything. So, yeah. Uh, what do we- what do we get for balloons? Honestly, because these guys are not cutting it just for regular balloons. Uh, no idea. No idea. And I don't care, I'm gonna get jungle drums boost. Uh, this is way too hard. So because these guys just weren't cutting it, I decided to get a recursive just because it's good. <laughs> and um, I am going to get a Gatling P. Uh, I think now is time to get something better. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and throw down this Gatling P. I'm gonna get rid of like these guys back here, and I'll throw down this Gatling P and let's see what he does. Oh yeah, for sure. That guy is pretty good. That was definitely what we needed. And just because, uh, I'm gonna throw this guy under Camo Village because, yeah. And Jungle Jones because he does shoot faster. So, and then let's get the Chomper right here. Just because, so we have him. And, oh, BFB got melted. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna... I feel like once we get a lot of Chompers, it'll be a better. That's just what I feel like. But this Gatling P is, like... Nuts. This thing was... This is what we needed. So 63 is definitely going to be a problem. Since... Uh, yeah. These things have no pierce whatsoever. So... Uh... Yeah. This is going to be rough. I think. I just have to like... Perfectly target my Gatling P. Which just isn't happening. <laughs> oh, alright, there we go. So, I just got a more Glaives for 63. So, yeah, I think... I'm going to get another one of those Gatling Ps, just because those are solid. And then, uh, I would love to save up for a Cobb Cannon, but I couldn't promise it that that's going to go as planned, so. Because that is, uh, 43k. So, I'm not too sure about that one, but we'll see. First up, I definitely want to get another Gatling P, though. So since we're actually doing pretty well, like I think we're at a comfortable kind of rate. Once I say that I'm gonna die, watch. Nope, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. So I think uh, we're at a point I could kind of save, I could get the uh, Cobb Cannon. So I'm just gonna go for the Cobb Cannon. Uh, we're gonna go big for this one. So 
Let's do it. Uh, Cobb Cannon. Every 15 seconds, the Cobb Cannon shoots a deadly corn missile, capable of obliterating the most powerful balloons. That's what I like to hear. So I'll put this guy uh, right here, since I'm guessing that... Um... I guess that is full map range, but uh, you can see that. Wait, yeah, it just shoots a missile and kills something, which is okay. I would kind of like to see more from a 43k tower. And but let's target this guy definitely on strong, since I don't want that guy attacking the first balloon. Definitely the strongest balloon. So there's our uh, single target DPS for the bad. If we could even get a, like a couple more of them, that'd be pretty good, I think. Just the balloons are a problem. Like the there's just balloons are a problem. But I guess once you get more Gatling peas, I guess that'll be better. Also, I want to see if uh, Monkey City uh, affects the uh, sunflowers. I'm gonna guess no. But, uh, I want to see if that'll do anything. And, yeah, we're dead again. Hmm. Uh, so it got the Monkey City, and it looks like they are, maybe. Uh, they have, like, the icon above their, above their, uh, like, sprite, so maybe they are? Which would be cool. Yeah, it does, 120. Okay, cool. So that's nice, good to know. So let's see how we do against the ZOMG. I, I'm guessing this is gonna be terrible, but I guess we'll see. Uh oh, wait. That Cobb cannon just destroyed it. Just the balloons that leak out are a problem. But we'll keep going. I'm gonna replace all of the repeaters we got down here with the uh Gatling peas. Yeah, that seems a lot better. So I think this is where I'm gonna end it off. Uh, I can't really get past around 82 with everything we got. It's just way too rough. I mean, I could get a... Like, I could get another like recursive or something, but as you see, we just keep losing. So... I mean, we showed off all the towers, so... Yep, that is where I'll end it off for today. So those were the Plants vs. Zombies towers in BT6. Those were awesome. A bit underwhelming, I will say, like, power-wise, they were kind of iffy, but it was, they were super cool to look at. So that's where I'll end it off for today. So if y'all enjoyed this video want to see more, be sure to let me know. And if you've been enjoying the mod series, be sure to drop me a like, comment, sub, all that good stuff. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Y'all take care and have a great day. Thanks for watching.